Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be attempting to do the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. No Mirror Makeup Challenge. And I have covered my mirror. I've placed my two mirrors that I usually use when I do my makeup just to make sure that you can definitely see I'm not using them. And you just have to trust me that all my mirrors are covered and I'm not cheating because I actually want to see how well I'll do on this challenge. Obviously, I'm wearing my makeup at the moment. I'm just using a minimal makeup because I had to do an errand and there's no way I'm going anywhere with no makeup on just because I had to face the world and I'm not ready for that commitment just yet. <laughs> but if you would like to see how I do with this challenge, please keep watching. <laughs> So I have removed all my makeup, so I have no makeup, so I've got a fresh face. So first I would normally put my moisturizer on just to keep my skin hydrated. If I close my eyes the whole time, maybe, maybe you will come to me. So I'm going to do my eyebrows first. This is actually not good. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I'm using my Chi Chi Brow Pomade. Right, so I'm going to be using an angle brush. Oh shoot. Oh shit. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to comb through our brows. Oh my god. I'm just going to close my eyes. Alright. No. This is so hard. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Oh fuck. How do people do this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Okay, go. Oh, I'll try it. Did I put much in my, on my brows? Okay, and that's it. Just follow the arch. I have a feeling that you know this. My left side will be so much better. How does people do this? here away from my face just because this is actually a lot harder than I thought. Alright so I'm just gonna clean it up just to make sure we don't have any excess product. Um, you just want to brush it up to make sure you know you don't have any harsh lines. Okay. Do I even, I don't even know if I have any product on my eyebrows right now. I think I do. Right, so we need to clean it up just to make sure we have a crisp line. I mean, not that I know exactly what it looks like right now. Do I? Do you have product on my eyebrows? We're just gonna clean it up to make sure that you know we get it right in there. You wanna make sure. Oh my god, this is. How does people do their eyebrows? I can't feel my eyebrows. I'm giving up life as we speak. I'm hoping that this lining, I'm hoping that this is actually doing something. I don't even know why I'm even doing that because I can't, I can't actually see what I'm doing. Right, so I just need to brush that through just to make sure we don't have any crazy brows going everywhere. I don't even know, do I even have any product on it? Right now we're going to put some primer on because you know you want to make sure your makeup stays on all day. Don't really know if I really want this makeup to stay on all day but I'm just gonna go through as I would normally do on a daily basis. Now I'm just using the Astralis Stick Foundation so I'm just gonna Apply that. I think this is easy. Q 
can never go wrong with foundation. Just need to blend it. I'm just gonna close my eyes the whole time just because I don't know where to look. I feel like if I just blend everything out, everything, especially for foundation, and I feel like I'm gonna do really good at this. I don't know how people do it. Alright, we need to make sure we don't rub off the eyebrows. I actually don't know if I put enough product on my eyebrows at all. But, um, alright, we'll try this. Okay, I think that's enough blending. I'm just gonna use some sponge. Just to make sure this is the best way to make sure all your foundation actually is blended. I feel like I'm actually going to do a really good job with this foundation just because I feel like it's actually covering all my skin everything else I feel like I'm going to fail 100% negative 100 yeah I think that's done I'm going to set that foundation right so I'm just going to use my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer I'm just going to put that on the areas that I just want to highlight which is under my eyes, in the middle of the nose, here and there. I'm just going to blend it out using my hand to make sure I spread it out evenly before I use the blender to blend everything else off it. I'm not really sure if I'm putting enough. Alright, I'm just going to use the blender as well. I'm really hoping that it's turning out okay. I don't know how people do this, like, I'm actually trying my very hard to make this as perfect as possible, but I feel like with the brows I failed straight away. But I'll, like I said, I'm, go I'm going to try really hard to make this look really good. Right, I feel like my foundation is going to be on point, just because, I mean... It actually seems pretty easy without looking in the mirror anyway. Alright, now I'm going to set my foundation. Mirror is there, so I'm just going to make sure I don't look at that. I'm just going to sit under my eyes. I'm really getting nervous. I'm doing my face first. <laughs> I feel like if I do my face first, everything else will fall into place. And I feel like that's a good plan to do, especially if you're not looking at a mirror. Right, so I'm just using that there. You can see I'm not even looking at the mirror. I don't even know how much powder I have put there. But hopefully that's enough. Right. Right, so as you can see, I've covered that just to make sure I don't look at the mirror. I actually want to see how well I do in this challenge. Right, next I'm going to take the bronzer. There's no mirror in there. It's underneath, as you can see. So, shit. I'm just going to contour my nose. Oh my god. Oh, I can see. This is not easy, guys. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but I thought I'd do really well. I know I was going to do shit, but I just wanted to see exactly how good I can do this if I try really really hard so I'm just gonna blend it hoping that there's no harsh lines I feel like my contour is on point on that one right, so now I'm just gonna bronze my face which is easy I just don't know how much product I actually have on my brush right now Right, so before I move on to anything else, I'm going to do my eyes. <sighs> Don't want to do my eyes. <laughs> I'm going to use my Morphe palette, as you can see, in Nomura. Right, so I'm just going to use the lighter shade here. Just to use that as a blending. Crap. Where is it? I think this is going to be easy. Yep. Oh, yep. I can, I can definitely see where it's going. I think the blending part is quite easy. I think it's knowing if I blend things enough that's hard. I 
Right now I'm just using the or I don't even know why I'm showing this the products just because there's really no point because it's not like I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm really excited to see how this look turns out because I mean this is actually a fun tag to do especially when you know you want to tell how well you can do your makeup if you don't have a mirror. I have a feeling I'm not doing so well but you know what I feel like my face is gonna look this the foundation part is gonna look the best I feel anyway I feel like if I just blend everything in everything will be just fine right I'm just gonna use that shade there I'm not really excited to do my lashes but it's part of my makeup routine so I feel like I have to do it on this challenge because if I don't then it's just doesn't make sense and this is challenging enough as it is, so I don't feel the need to do an eyeliner. Like, I'm not looking forward to doing my lips either, just because I suck at doing my lips without the mirror. Like, really, really bad. Oh my god, I don't even know if I'm applying enough product on my eyes, but I feel like if I just blend everything, everything is just going to look good, I suppose. I hope, anyways. My eyes is going to be like close majority of this time just because I can't see anything. I'm not looking at anything and there's nothing I can look at. Alright, so now I'm just going to blend all that colour in just to make sure you know I don't leave any harsh lines. Yeah, I think I'll blend that enough. Alright, I'm going to attempt to do my waterline. <laughs> I suggest not to do this, guys. I just don't want to poke my eye. Ow. Okay, not doing that again. Right, now I'm going to curl my lashes. Oh, fuck. Alright, so I'm just going to put some glue on my lashes so I can leave it to get tacky while I do the rest of my makeup. Alright, so I'm just going to use that to bronze the side of my cheeks. I'm just going to close my eyes guys the whole time because I feel like my arm muscle is going to tell me exactly what to do and I think it memorized <laughs> my daily routine so it might be easy that way. And I'm just going to use this here and that's, yep, I can pretty much do this with my eyes closed anyway, <laughs> I'm lying. Alright. This would really suck if my camera wasn't recording. You have no idea how disappointed I would be if it wasn't. Right. If I blend it, it's going to look fabulous. Oh my god. I use my Mil Milani Luminoso uh, blush. I even have. I feel like I don't have anything on my eyes. I feel really weird. I don't know. I feel like I'm putting so much on my face right now. I'm gonna use my hourglass. I'm just gonna open it like so, so I don't actually see anything. I'm gonna use my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight. I feel like the highlight is just gonna bring everything in. So to make sure my nose contour is nice. No idea how hard this is. In my Becca Cosmetic um, highlighter in Champagne Pop, so I'm just gonna open it like so. I'm just gonna use a small brush and I'll put that in my inner corner. Where is my inner corner? There. <laughs> so I'm. Oh, I can see if I look inside. Yep, I think that's enough. I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush to make sure that everything's blend in. You know, don't want any harsh line showing. You want your makeup to look flawless. <laughs> I'm just going to apply some brow gel on my brows. If I can find my brows. Right, I'm just going to do my lashes. Oh my god, you guys, this is so hard. Where's my lashes? 
I don't feel like that is actually on my lashes at all. I feel like that's on my lid. Oh, I feel like that one's better. <laughs> oh my god. I really don't think that's in the right spot. But I feel like this is so much better than the other one, is it? Oh god, I'm hoping. But I'll go for this shade Limbo in Colourpop. I feel like there's not enough product on this side. Yeah, that feels... This doesn't feel right, right now. <laughs> this is horrible. So we want this makeup to last all day, so I'm just going to set my makeup with Scandinavia Finishing Spray. The moment of truth. So, what do you guys think? I have a feeling this is going to be so bad. Right. Let's have a look. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Have to admit, it's actually not so bad. <laughs> okay, that lash just wasn't so bad. You guys. It's not so bad at all. I mean... Apparently my eyebrows is a lot bigger and thicker. The face is not so bad. My nose contour is not so bad at all either. My lips, yeah, I had a feeling that was really well, that was really bad because, like I said, I can't put my lipstick on without the mirror. But my lashes, guys! <laughs> oh my god! I. I mean, that is literally on perfectly. That one is actually not bad. It's actually so close. Hmm. I think I actually did a decent job at this challenge. Apart from the eyebrows and the lips, I think everything else looked really decent or okay. Obviously, I wouldn't walk out, uh, out of the house like this. But in saying that, I did pretty well considering with no mirror. I will zoom the camera in so you can see these beautiful <laughs> creations. It was actually quite a fun video to do. It was a little bit challenging. I'm so, so glad I did it because now I know what my makeup would look like if I didn't have any mirror. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, I will talk to you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye! Thank you.